so here's the deal I went uh, around Google for like 30 40 minutes trying to find someone who did this before it seems that it doesn't exist so I tried working on it the idea is to insert an image into SQLite uh, which is kind of a uh, pain so my idea was to take the image convert it in a, convert it in a, a blob then take the blob insert it into the SQLite table then retrieve back the blob as is convert it back again to an image then stream it back to the picture box so my application I divided into three parts I'm using here SQLite Express expert to browse the table. I already created something called ImageDB, the database, which is a flat file located here in the bin uh, build folder for the application I created. So the idea is the first thing is to create a table with four fields. I'm not gonna cover all the fields because I'm just trying to cover the whole idea. So whenever I press create table now I have a new table in the MHDB called F00 and F00 structure is an ID, a title, a description and an image so what am I gonna do next is try to insert an image when I press insert I go locate uh, a picture so the idea right here is let me press a cancel. Before inserting the image, I need to give an ID for the image record. Choosing the image. Okay. So, practically, right now, I think we have one record. Let me go to data. As you can see, here's the image right there, and the ID is one. Let's go ahead and insert two other images. Now the ID is two to avoid replica replication so I want to insert the penguins and ID number 3 I'm going to try to insert the jellyfish and it works right now I'm going to refresh the table and show you that the uh, three of them are existing in the table for the database now I'm going to try to retrieve those read image here is the first picture read image second first there everything will works perfectly so that's the idea how I did that well the code is kind of tedious and long you're gonna have to go through that by yourself uh, there's three functions image to blob and blob to image uh, what else and I separated the each procedure in a button that I was showing you about. Mm, this can be automated, changed into something more useful. This was just like a code repository on how to do that. So I hope this would be beneficial for whoever needs it in the future.